Hello, this is Raziel Cohen with ndftraining.com, and today we're gonna to talk about a product that can help you significantly when it comes to a concealed carry holder in a more dressed up environment. Now, one of the issues when it comes to wearing a suit or wearing something that might be a little bit more tight fitting in a more dressed up environment is that we'll usually have a little bit less access to the gun. It's also gonna be a lot more, well, usually more uncomfortable and it's harder to be able to cover up what's going on. Now, a product that a lot of people have been thinking about but haven't actually implemented is being able to change up the shirt. Now. In a previous training video, we spoke about how one of the problems with wearing a, a regular dress shirt is that the bottom of the shirt has a split. Now that split, if you're not going to grab it properly, could interfere with your draw stroke. Another thing is that usually dress shirts are going to be a little bit tighter around your body, so being able to introduce a regular dress shirt as if it was a t-shirt is not going to be that simple. So a lot of people were looking for an option that I wanna be able to look like I'm wearing a dress shirt, but still have the same access and ability as if I was wearing a regular t-shirt. Now, I got I reached out to a company called Collars & Co, and they make a polo shirt that actually has very thick collars and a button down that it makes it look like you're wearing a dress shirt when ultimately, you're actually just wearing a regular t-shirt. So this is literally t-shirt material that looks like a dress shirt when you have your suit or something that you're wearing covering, and it's able to make it look like you're still dressed up while still being able to be comfortable, still having short sleeves, having a more breathable material. And uh, for us, the big deal is being able to have a proper draw stroke when you take out your gun. Now, there are some pros and cons when it comes to using the system. If you were in a very high class dress environment, one of the potential issues is, is that since this is not long sleeve, it's short sleeved, you won't ever have your the, the bottom cuff of your shirt being exposed because there's nothing there. Now, there are probably ways around it, like there are probably cuffs you could buy individually that if you want to kind of add to that um, image of you wearing a, a long sleeve shirt, then that, that's able to be bought separately, but that obviously doesn't come with a shirt. The other only, my, I found only a few minor issues that I'm going to just be picky about, but otherwise this could still be an excellent option for a lot of people that are going to be working in a house of worship to be able to have as a every single day carry option when it comes to those environments. So just to be picky, the few things that I noticed that were a problem is that the way I'm standing right now, you might not notice it, but the button ends right around there. So if you're wearing a regular suit jacket, which I'm about to switch out to, then it's going to be much more noticeable that this is not a regular shirt. And if you look right over here, the buttons don't always look spaced all the way up. So as it's getting to the top, the buttons get closer and closer together. And then towards the bottom, it has a kind of a wider area where I kind of wish they made it just a little bit longer because when you're wearing a regular suit jacket, it's going to be a little bit more obvious that something is different with your shirt. Now this is wearing a regular suit jacket and what you could see is that right over here, it ends. So this is going to obviously be a problem because you're not able to kind of conceal this as being a regular dress shirt because this is where it kind of ends. So I kind of wish they made it a little bit longer or have an option that goes almost all the way down to just be able to accommodate, accommodate that. Now, this is not actually the way it was designed. The way it was designed is that if you're going to be wearing like a sweater over this and you just kind of want your collars to be exposed or something like that, or if you're going to be wearing uh, kind of like a sports jacket that might have a zip up or something, those are kind of gonna be much more ideal options, which are still options for concealed carry and are still options for you going to a house of worship. But when it comes to wearing a suit specifically, it could kind of bring about a few problems. So the first small complaint that I had, which could be obviously changed, is maybe having an option that could go a little bit lower. The second small option is complaint, which is not really a big deal because it's able to be fixed very easily, is that the tag that they have in the back of the shirt is very, very like scratchy, it's very sharp. So a small thing would be probably to either remove that or maybe have an option that it wouldn't be um, as irritating to my neck. The last thing, which is again, not such a big deal, but is able to be pretty quickly fixed is the actual button spacing. So there's the actual length, which is the problem for me of how far it goes down so you can't wear it in a suit. And also, also the spacing of the buttons, being able to make it look a little bit more consistent. Now, the reality is I actually went out and used this in an environment which could have been a little bit more risky of just being able to see if people notice that my shirt is a little bit off. And I haven't had anyone specifically come up to me ask anything about the shirt, which is good. So this is similar to the concept of carrying appendix where you might might constantly be worried that someone sees you're wearing, you're wearing an appendix style holster, an appendix style rig, but the reality is people are not usually that situationally aware. Also, with the way I'm moving my hands right now, the way that I'm talking, I'm usually blocking that area. It's still something that could obviously end up being noticed, but it's not something that's a major issue that should immediately turn you off from this product. 
So this is with the jacket off. You see that it's short sleeve. It's very, very stretchy. I believe that they come in like the standard t-shirt sizes, which is like small, medium, large, extra large and up, whatever it might be. Uh, but it's still a very, very comfortable shirt. I wore it recently when the temperatures here were getting pretty high. So we were in like the high 90s and it still was very breathable and very comfortable. What actually impressed me about the shirt, which was really nice, is that the collars are very, they're large and very thick. So it's not like you're worried about having kind of like the standard polo shirts or golf shirt kind of material where it could end up being flabby. It actually stays very strong and very sturdy. So when you're wearing a jacket, it looks it looks the part. It looks very, very good. As well as also the center area being more of an actual dress shirt material than the rest of the shirt. So the whole rest of the shirt is going to be stretchy material, but the actual parts that matter that are going to be most exposed look like look the part for what you're trying to do. The way that it's designed is actually good because if they would have made like just kind of like a area over here, which would all actually be real dress shirt. First of all, it probably wouldn't be that comfortable. Second of all, um, having that when you're moving around could expose that the rest of the material color or style changes. So having it set up the way they did actually works very well for what it's trying to do. So all in all, I think this is actually a very nice product. It's definitely much more comfortable than the conventional dress shirts as well as also if you're dressing the way that it was kind of designed to be dressed in, it's going to suit you exactly for what it needs. So again, if you're wearing like a sweatshirt over it or if you're going to be wearing kind of a sports jacket with a zipper, it's obviously going to be much more concealable as well as much more comfortable without you worrying about being able to print in any way they'll notice that the shirt is off. I actually posted the picture on my Instagram with me wearing this in a suit and I asked everyone, if anyone, if they knew what was kind of hidden in the picture, but no one really thinks of the shirt as something that should be thought of and actually is something that should be thought of as especially because it's gonna make it much more comfortable and much more safer to draw and much more consistent to draw because you have a lot more of that stretching material to make sure that you're clearing the gun out of the holster so if this is something that you're interested in I'm going to link leave a link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube and if you're watching this on Instagram you can reach out to us I'm also gonna tag them so you guys could check them out and it just might be something that would be worthwhile to look into as well as also during the time of me making this video I believe that they're having a sale right now so you can check it out to see if you want to get it at a lower price Price. This is Raziel Cohen with NDFTraining.com. Thank you for watching.